Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a photo from 2D to 3D and this is my photo for this tutorial and I just opened in Photoshop Okay, we're gonna separate anything on this photo to make it like a foreground and background Obviously, in this photo, flowers in front are more clear than the flowers at the back so now we're going to separate them now. You can choose the quick selection tool or the lasso tool to select the foreground flowers. I will use the lasso tool to do this effect. I'll do it quickly for select the foreground flowers. One thing to remind you is that you the Better choose some photos that have the 2D parallax effect, which means that you can clearly select the foreground scenes and the background scenes, and that will be easier to separate them on a photo. Okay. I did quickly, though it's not very accuracy. Sorry. Now you can see some of them are not very accuracy. And now you can choose the quick selection tool to make some adjustment here to make it more accuracy. Okay, so after that, you just right click on your mouse and then go to layer via copy. Now you can see a new layer for the foreground flowers appear here. And now you can click Command or Control key and click on layer 1. The selected foreground flowers appear again. And now you go to Select, Modify, and choose Expand. And the 5 pixels, and then click OK. And now you go back to background layer and come to our image, right click and go to fill. Make sure you use the content aware 100% opacity and then click OK. It may take some time to do this process. Okay, so you can deselect the foreground flowers not command D. So when you go back to layer one, hide them, you cannot see the foreground flowers, but the background are filled with something else. Okay. Now you can save your photo. Save as Make sure it's a Photoshop file, including layers, and this we call it flowers. And we will later import this PSD 
file into After Effects to make it a 3D if parallax effect safe. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial. See you for the part 2.